This is my contest entry for Missy's um, Hawaiian themed contest. So um, I hope you like it. I had a lot of fun doing it. I think it looks really good. Um, so yeah, enjoy. All right, first we're gonna apply a primer. I'm using Untitled Paint by MAC. I'm gonna put that all over the lid. And then put it all over the other lid. I actually decided to go ahead and do that eye because I probably will run out of time. First apply pink, hot pink from Coastal Scents palette on the inner third of the lid. I'm just using like a regular eyeshadow brush. This is from e.l.f. They're like a dollar and they're like amazing. <laughs> this like hot sparkly orange. Put that on the outer half of the lid. It doesn't matter if it's all messy like it is right now because I'm going to be blending it out. Take orange from MAC. It's like a neon matte orange. And join the two colors right there. Then take a blendy brush and just blend it all together. Take some of that color again and blend it. Oops, I suck. And then we're going to frame these colors and bring them down a bit with this purple right here. Don't go all the way up to the brow bone because you need want to leave a little space for the highlight. Some people put the highlight there first, but whenever I do that, I end up having to put it on again, so I just wait till the end. Coastal Scents, like, they're really nice, they're pigmented and everything, but there's a lot of fallout. It's kind of annoying. I'm going to take this mica um, sample from Coastal Scents called Chameleon Violet. It's like really pretty, it like sh shines different colors depending on which way you're looking at it. And I'm putting that over top of the purple that we put there. Oh my god, I have so much fallout, it's ridiculous. This one looks a lot purpler than that one. And that's because I put this NYC Sparkle Eye Dust Shimmering Brush on Eye Color on top of it. It kind of, it's like a purpley, white, like, oh, I can't really explain it. Uh, kind of like the same kind of thing where it shines one color one way you look at it and shines the other color the other way you look at it. It's really cool. You know what, I can't, for some reason this one is still more purple, so I'm just going to add more purple to this side. Can't get everything perfect first time you do it. Well, I mean, some people can. <sighs> I'm going to have to add a little more white, the like purpley white stuff to that, this side now. And then if you lost any color on the side, just apply it again. How do you like my nails? They're palm trees with like gradient color that like f it fades from like dark, like a purplish pink to like a hot pink to an orange. Do you see that? Is that focusing? I don't know if that's focusing, but... And then it's got little black palm trees on it. 
I did it myself. Alright, well, my camera died, so I'm going to have to finish this on my webcam thing. Alright, so, where was I? Actually, a couple stop, a couple steps got lost. So all I did was apply a highlight. It was like a, um, a matte, yellowish, whitish, like just really, really, really super light, almost white, like totally sheer highlight to the under the brow bone. And then I added Chrome Yellow by Mac and a little tiny bit of orange, like overlapping each other right in the, the corners, the tear ducts or whatever. So I'm just going to add some of that dark, like, dark hot orange, dark hot, I don't know how that makes sense, right in the outer, outer corner, like underneath or whatever. And then some of that hot pink, chrome yellow mixed with orange to make like a lighter orange, darker yellow, like almost like a mustardy color. Put that in the very corner. I'm really pissed that I have to use this camera because you can't like see the colors as well. Let's see if I can see the colors. I'm trying to. You can't see how vibrant and pretty the colors. Oh, you can kind of see that. You can't see the purple like at all though. Oh my god, see my dress? It matches the whole, like, Hawaiian, let's see if I can get the bottom, Hawaiian palm tree thing. I already showed you my nails do too. Oh, so pretty. Let's have some fun on this beep to stick. I want to take a ride on your disco stick. It's such a gross song, but I love that song. So apply black eyeliner in the waterline. Then I'm gonna do my mascara. I already curled my lashes. I like to do that like way before because if I don't do it like way before, I'll forget. I always do. Look at this big mirror I use. It's actually a little like slidey door thing on my bathroom cabinet. And I just kinda steal it. And use it when I need to do my makeup in my room. Now you could do false lashes with this, but I chose not to just because, like, I'm not going anywhere tonight. Like, I might see my boyfriend, but, like, I mean, he sees me every day. So I don't need to, like, really dress up for him. We've been going out for, like, two years, so... So since the eyes are so like, like, wow popping and extreme, I'm just going to do like a really light blush. This one. Never mind, no bronzer. I can't find it, so... Lip gloss. I don't really do lipstick. I don't own any. I just don't like lipstick. I feel like I'm too young for it. I just started wearing blush. I felt like I was too young for that too. I'm 19. It's called uh, Near Peach. It's like, it's a pretty nude color. You should never do like a really like extreme heavy or dark lip when you have eyeshadow that's like really vibrant or dark. You should only really choose one or the other. Like, if you want to wear, like, bright red lips or something like that, have, like, re... I say like way too much. I'm sorry. Have really, like... I said it again. <laughs> natural eyeshadow. Yeah. Favorite lip gloss. It looks so good on me. Mwah! The finished look. I hope you like it. I love it. I feel so pretty with my... Um, Hawaiian eyes and my Hawaiian nails. Yeah, and my Hawaiian dress. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.